Hi guys, welcome to Nothing Eat TV. This is your host Sergio Gupta. Today with InFocus N370 phone. This is a budget phone, and as always, I'll be talking about five good things and five bad things about this device. So let's go. So guys, the first good thing about InFocus N370 is that. The display it's a five inch HD display and the colors are pretty much over there. The touch is also good. However, the bad part is that the UI is pretty sluggish. The processor is not that strong, and when you are putting in many apps and running so many apps at a single time, the phone starts to stutter and the UI simply you know it's not that good which you want. Moving on to the second part is that. When you are running games like Temple Run 2, Hungry Shark, and other games, the phone runs them easily. It doesn't heat up. It doesn't lag. But when it comes to slightly heavy game like Overkill 3, Modern Combat 5, this is a budget device, not for heavy gaming, not for hardcore gaming. The phone tends to slightly heat up, not majorly heat up, but then it cannot play those games smoothly. So that is a drawback of the device. The third aspect is about the camera. I am having a 8 megapixel rear camera with flash, and a front-facing 2 megapixel camera. I click some images. I'll tell you what the thing is. So you can see the performance of the rear camera. It's decent enough. The colors are natural, and even on zooming up, the details are there, and these can't be neglected. So overall, image is decent enough. From this budget device, the low light imaging is not too good, but then the camera can show you what the objects are and some other details. However, I am not too happy with the front-facing camera. You are seeing this image has come out to be clear because I was standing outside, out from the my office, out from my home, and uh, this image was taken when the light was falling on my face directly. But if you just move around and if there is slightly not awesome amount of light on your face, then the camera cannot take good amount of image. So I'm happy with the performance of the rear 8 megapixel camera, but the 2 megapixel camera front facing could have been better. It is not that good. Moving on, the fourth aspect is that I can insert a micro SD card in the phone and I can also move the battery if need be if the phone hangs. So micro SD card can be uh, put in above the first sim card and uh, the bad thing is for those of you who are looking for the OTG support on this phone the phone does not support USB OTG and uh, let me test it right now that for you I have connected this OTG cable it is not showing me anything in the notification bar let me go to the file explorer and let me show you it is only detecting the internal storage, nothing from the USB OTG. Let me go to the storage space and let me see over there. No, nothing over here too. So these are the three places where I could have got notified and could have accessed the pen drive, but which is not the case with this phone. The fifth good and bad point is again about the UI. So usually in Android, you get the option to adjust the brightness over here while sliding from the notification bar which is absent here moreover you have these options and again it is not smooth so sometimes you can skip one menu and directly move to the other menu so around about you have to access the proper setting screen in order to adjust the display and you can't also remove some stuff and add it some stuff on this shortcut stream so you are bound by that so guys those were five good things and five bad things about infocus m370 do let us know that uh, if you discover anything else and thanks for watching the video kindly hit the subscribe button over here i'll see you next time have a great day